Acurex Pharmaceuticals is a publicly held clinical stage biopharmaceutical company developing a new class of antibiotics for infections caused by bacteria that are listed as priority pathogens by the World Health Organization, the CDC, and others, FDA as well. So uh, the CEO, David Lucci, is here with me to explain. Now, tell me about your lead antibiotic candidate, because I know it's going to be doing phase three clinical trials soon, right? Yes. Okay, so talk to me about that candidate and what you expect out of those trials. Uh, thank you, Jane. It's a really exciting time. We just announced our top line data on Ibezapulstat, our lead antibiotic to treat C. difficile infection. And that data is uh, clinically comparable uh, to the standard of care vancomycin, uh, and we're going on to phase three. Uh, we'll be meeting with the FDA in the first quarter. The data was phenomenal uh, for Ibezapulstat in phase two. Altogether, uh, the 2A component, 2B component, we were 25 out of 26 cures, 96.15%. Um, in the phase 2B, Oral Bank did better than it usually does. It, it got 14 out of 14 patients, but looked at within the context of their 37 years of data, uh, 2,000 patients that we have evaluated, they have an average cure rate of 85.5%. So with that in mind, and with Merck's Fidaxomycin at 88%, both of which have a lot of reinfections, and we have none, um, we're really excited to be moving on. We have a robust package to move to phase three. Yeah, I always remember the first time we talked about this, you talked about how there hasn't been anything to treat the C. diff in decades. And it, it just seems like it's kind of been just sitting there as a problem and nobody's really done anything about it until you came along. Yeah, it's true. And you know, a lot of uh, big companies fell by the wayside. Recently, Pfizer uh, had a vaccine for frontline therapy. Uh, they projected it to be a $1.05 billion opportunity. We agree with those numbers for frontline for C. diff, and they failed phase three. Sanofi failed phase three. Uh, Finch went by the wayside. Summit Therapeutics failed phase three. So we literally are the next antibiotic uh, up, uh, up to bat with the FDA. There's no one closer to FDA approval than, than us uh, in the C. diff space, and we're going into phase three. And not only are we going into phase three with the FDA, we're going to leverage all of the time and money and effort, the preclinical and clinical package, and after we meet the FDA, we're going to leverage that data and we're going to go to the European Medicines Agency. Okay, interesting. Um, now, Acurex is a NASDAQ company, but it is a microcap stock. How do you pay for those expensive phase three trials? Um, well, what we're going to do is have an uh, imbalanced approach to the two phase threes that will be required. We'll do a smaller study first, possibly two to one randomized. Uh, so that for every two patients on our Ibezapulstat, there'll be one patient on vancomycin. Vancomycin will be the control arm, but it will be a smaller study so that we can pay for it more easily. Um, so we think that you know, we, we have a strategy that we will unveil in the coming weeks um, that people will see that it will be uh, the most non-dilutive way to fund phase three of all the ways that I've done in my 25 years yeah, uh, doing this. Now, do you think that's what's been behind uh, your stock price, which has been shot up 70%, down a little bit? I mean, do you think the concern about paying for it is that's what's behind this? I think there's concern about paying for it, which we're not concerned about at all. We, we have a, a detailed plan that we'll be unveiling very soon. And I also think that when people saw 14 out of 14 patients uh, for vancomycin in the phase 2B, um, they were looking at it incorrectly, like maybe it wasn't a win. But if you talk to our institutional investors who know the context of all of the Vanco data, mm. um, it actually was a, a tremendous win. Our institutions are quite delighted with where we are. Yeah. Um, and I will add that Fidaxomycin went to phase three on an open label study with 15 out of 16 cures. We have 25 out of 26. Yeah. So. We're delighted with, with more, where we are. More comprehensive. Absolutely. Study, it sounds like. So, Absolutely. Now, this vancomycin. Yes. Thing, right. Okay, it was approved in 1986. Uh, to treat C. difficile, yes. Originally approved in 1958, but for C. diff in okay. 1986. Got it. And it has a, reoccur a high reoccurrence rate, right? 30% recurrence rate. Okay. And that's just the, exactly the problem that you're trying to address. Exactly. And I think that high recurrence rate and the fact that it's a broad spectrum antibiotic which destroys the microbiome. I think that's why Pfizer and Sanofi wanted to knock it off as frontline therapy in a $1.7 billion market because they had a vulnerable frontline therapy to beat. Okay, now you just said $1.7 billion market. So how big could this C. diff uh, treatment be? 
Well, if the data continues with the characteristics we've seen so far in phase three, we agree with the Pfizer CFO, who was in Fierce Biotech and identified it as a over a billion dollar product. Okay. Well, David, please keep us up to date on this because I know you're entering this crucial phase for the treatment and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks so much. We have a lot of data coming out in the next 90 days and uh, stay tuned. I hope to give you an update. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Jane.